Hello and welcome back to another episode of me thanking you because oh my god. Since the last video I've gained about 300 more subscribers, 1500 total, so thank you guys so much. And if you're not already a part of the fan, make sure to hit the subscribe button down there. It is free and you can change your mind at any time. So I promise that I don't always only talk about conservatives fumbling the bag. I know that it seems like it might be a bit of a trend, but I promise it's not. I just could not ignore this story because there are so many interesting layers. This story has everything. White supremacy, misogyny, racism, homophobia, NFTs, cryptocurrency, catfishing, and romance? No, not the last one, but it has all the other ones. So back in 2019, there was a crowdfunded project for a film called Rebels Run, which is based on an alt-right comic series called Alt Hero. Basically, they were attempting to be a conservative alternative to the mainstream comic companies like Marvel and DC. You know, trying to create like an alt-right cinematic universe, which, uh... Uh-huh. The comics and the script for the movie adaptation were both penned by a guy named Theodore Beale, who the Wall Street Journal describes as the most despised man in science fiction. <laughs> he also goes by the name of Vox Dei, which is a homophone for a Latin phrase that's spelled like this and means the voice of God. So obviously, I will be referring to him solely as Theodore. Seville, because I sincerely believe that's the only way I'll make it through filming this video. In case you wanted to get to know him a little bit better, Theodore Seville, the human, believes in white supremacy, believes that women should be deprived of the right to vote, called homosexuality a birth defect, and claimed that people of darker skin tones are more prone to violence. Jury's still out on the chipmunk. The comic line that this movie is based on, Alt Hero, is literally about a tyrannical globalist government that is hunting down free-thinking conservatives, which I'm not afraid to say it. About time. Never before has a far-right conservative been brave enough to tell us how it is. God bless America. Not that one. So according to Rebels Run's official publicly available business plan, the project was meant to be directed by Scooter Downey, whose name you might not know, uh, but he made a Tucker Carlson-backed documentary about the January 6th riot, and he participates in a lot of, like, conspiracy conversation. The movie was also set to be produced by Viral Films Media, whose website looks like this. Take special note of this bold part down here, which states that investors' returns will be based upon the performance and proceeds from one film, meaning Rebels Run. Oof. And finally, before we talk about what exactly happened to this movie's production, we have to talk about their final business partner slash producer slash VFX department, Galatia Films. The business plan says that Galatia Films has a team of partners uh, that have worked on blockbusters such as Man of Steel and The Avengers, you know, movies from the companies that Vox Day is quoted as saying in the same business plan, he despises how they are trashing characters. Not a great thing to say here. I hate mainstream comic companies. They've gone full woke and are destroying the legacies of the characters we know and love, which is why we're proud to partner with a company that has partnered with the very companies that we stand firmly against. No morals, no convictions, no self-awareness. It is hilarious and so embarrassing. Apparently even embarrassing for Galatia Films, who has since wiped their viral films media partner page off their website. Yikes. Speaking of embarrassing, let's finally talk about this one million dollar hit that this movie took, or more specifically, the people that donated to this crowdfunding took. So, way back in 2019, this project very quickly passed its $750,000 goal, ultimately making roughly $1 million. But there was one problem. The good old voice of God himself, shitty, shitty opinions and views and stances and, you know, actions, all finally caught up with him a little bit. Because he needed more backing for this project. But because of his background, he was really struggling to find even a single bank that would help him secure these extra funds, which led him to this fella, James Wolfgram, who, as you may have guessed it, is not so good with the money. So basically, the producers of this movie uh, gave this guy's company, Ohana Capital, all of the film's money. He was promised that with a $1 million security deposit, that Ohana Capital will, would be able to secure him $4 million in a loan, so they gave them all of their money, all of it, other people's money, to a con artist. Which, hey, Clearly this movie's run by a couple little racist chipmunks. How are they supposed to know with their tiny chipmunk brains what this guy's gonna do with their money? But honestly, what baffles me the most is how they didn't see this coming because this dude is literally like the worst con artist ever. He's a self-proclaimed crypto billionaire, which is like me saying that I'm a Monopoly money billionaire. It doesn't exist. He had no real concrete money. 
he was a billionaire catfish. He posted pictures of expensive things to prove that he had a lot of money. That was all fake. It was just pictures off of Google or from other accounts. He also apparently sold these crypto mining rigs, these things, and they were literally just a fake video on a loop designed to look like they were working, which is insane that people didn't catch that. But also, here's the kicker. When the producers of Rebels Run went to Ohana Capital, James Wolfgram was already $4 million in debt because of a different fraudulent deal that he made where he said that he would put the money towards China making medical equipment like PPE for COVID-19. So when he made that deal, he instead took that $4 million and paid other entities to settle legal actions against his own company. Which begs the question, where did the money from Rebels Run go? Well, apparently Wolfgram used that million dollars to pay his debt from that other deal. He's just playing a big old game of fucking hot potato with all these investors' money. It's, it's insane. Okay, financial nonsense aside, blah, blah, blah. Where does that leave the movie? You know, because all that stuff I was talking about, that was two years ago. For two years, this fucking chipmunk has not said a single word about Rebels Run. And I want an update. Ring, 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 it's the telephone. Uh-huh. There's an update now. Theodore posted a video on the social media site Unauthorized TV, which is basically if Rumble had its own Rumble, and also posted a statement for everyone else on his blog. He talks about how it was a scam, likely this massive Ponzi scheme, the money cannot and likely will not be returned to the investors, and according to him, the FBI is now involved, which is apparently not confirmed anywhere else. He also says here that Viral Film Media's partners are putting together a plan to make a different and less expensive movie that requires no additional funding outside of the community uh, if they decide to make the movie at all. In the video statement he made, he said that he's given up on the movie and says he believes the con was, quote, a targeted operation intended to break the community. Obviously, all of this is very, very funny. You know, a horrible, horrible man wanted to make a racist, misogynistic movie about how the far right are being censored, and then this NFT collecting crypto bro scammer stole all of his supporters' money, and now the movie isn't being made and the scammer is facing several felony accounts of uh, wire fraud and other forms of fraud. As clean and wrapped up as it gets, you know, a real snake eating its own tail. Except, as always, they can't let sleeping dogs lie. Because Theodore really believes that this was a left-wing conspiracy all targeting him and his shitty little movie. Look, man, nobody cares that much. Nobody cares enough about your movie to coordinate this political attack on you. As much as people like Tucker Carlson and Rumble and Newsmax might want you to believe that that's a real possibility. I might make a video about this topic in the future, but I will never understand the far right obsession with making conservative or far right alternatives of things, especially because those things are not inherently leftist or progressive to begin with. Like, it's not just this. Rumble is supposed to be the right-wing social media. The Right Stuff is supposed to be the right-wing dating app. Daily Wire Kids is supposed to be the right-wing Disney. And Rebels Run and the alt-hero cinematic universe is supposed to be the right-wing Marvel or DC. But if you think that space is like social media and streaming services aren't already populated by conservatives, you just don't pay enough fucking attention. Or worse, you are aware of that, and you're just profiting off of the debate about it. You know that this is why Ben Shapiro has 5 million subscribers. It's either, oh, these leftists fucking hate when we're also successful in their spaces. Or it's, oh man, these leftists won't allow me to be successful in their space. Let's go create our own space. These things can't coexist, but somehow they do. And they do both, all the time. And people fall for it again, and again, and again. <laughs> And again! So will this alt-hero cinematic universe happen? No, absolutely not. Will Vox Day, there I said your fucking name, still make an impression on impressionable alt-right audiences in the science fiction community and outside of it? Yeah, probably. Am I about one video on this topic away from jumping in a fucking river? Absolutely. So yeah, I'm glad this movie isn't happening. But honestly, maybe it would have been even funnier if it did. You know, if it ever does come to fruition, I'll make another video and we'll watch the finished product together. All right, let me know what you think of this wild roller coaster of a story down in the comments below. Uh, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you have not done so already. Be sure to hit that bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.